Cheek. M. Fisk is using a new 3DS, the one that's Japanese only. So he does have a sort of C stick. It's not quite a C stick, but it does let you input commands. It's just pretty difficult to flip. Oh. Did your internet just die? All right, we we just got disconnected. Right. Okay, good. It looks like we're live again. Sorry, everyone. We appear to be having some minor uh, internet issues, but. The match has just started. Looks like Tommy has a slight lead here at the beginning. Definitely not something that's insurmountable, though. Uh, this is a pretty interesting matchup and definitely a very fast-paced one. Sheik... <sighs> and there went our internet again. Alright. Are we streaming? Are we live? Are we live? Uh, if anyone can hear me, please post something in the chat. That would be helpful. I'm not sure if anyone's actually seeing this or not. Ooh, an unfortunate SD by Tommy. But, I'm sure Emphis glad to take it. And he is definitely approaching kill percent as Sheik. Uh, Tommy, knowing that you can cancel the ending lag of any of Greninja's aerials by, or er, landing lag, I suppose I should say, by using Side B, Shadow Sneak, it does commit you to the relatively laggy Shadow Sneak, but. It's certainly a very good option if you're down airing to the ground, for example. With that, this match is basically tied right back up. He gets a punish on the whiffed forward smash. Ooh, and just outspaces Greninja's jab, follows it up with a forward smash. Greninja's ever so amazing recovery will not get gimped by that. Who? Water Shuriken taking him charging across the stage. Tommy. And there went our internet again. Apologies, everyone. Hopefully, this is at least being recorded correctly. But. Uh. Let's see. Ooh! <laughs> Master Fisk throwing out a taunt. But Tommy not quite dead yet. That will kill, however. Who, Tommy going for the g gim with uh, up B. Don't know what happened there with Emphisk. I thought that he was going towards the ledge, but maybe he was holding down slightly. Apologies, everyone. Looks like we're still having some pretty serious internet problems. Water Shuriken will put him in a very bad position off stage. Ooh, but the get-up attack. So quick, and it has pretty good range. The Tommy just didn't see it coming, I suppose. Ooh. Uh, Fisk trying to punish Tommy's down air with an up smash does not quite get the timing right. Gets hit out of it himself. This is still a very close match. Um, Greninja seems to be getting the positional advantage fairly often, but not being able to really capitalize on it. Ooh. 
Alright, Greninja off the stage. Will Sheik... Ah, oh, that grenade is such a good edge guarding tool, because not only does it have pretty high knockback and it's a projectile, but it also sucks people in. Oh, but Greninja's up smash will take it. it has, it's such a good move. It has two hits and it's uh, it has really good range as well. But, let's see. Sorry, we were unable to connect to chat. We're connecting in eight seconds. So why is this so small? Three, two, one, go! Alright. And the match is about to get underway as soon as Jigglypuff crosses the blast zone. And with that, they'll charge right back into it. Um, Emphisk probably did not know that he should not let uh, Greninja take him here. The way that we do Omega Forms is they're considered just alt colors of Final Destination, and either player can say, no, we're going to standard FD. But uh, this specific stage, it is impossible to see Greninja's side B, the shadow from it. Which I'm not sure if Greninja or if Tommy is using the standard side B or the quick one because the quick one allows it, it's just generally better for canceling the end lag of moves. This matchup still looking very even, and with that, they're only 2% apart. <laughs> both trying to go for a kill, neither one quite connecting, though they were both very close. Sheik unable to convert off the down throw as percent was too high, sending Greninja much too far. Oh, that was very risky by Emphisk. If Tommy had been just a split second faster, then that would have been a dead Sheik and still living Greninja. But manages to get it. And with that, they're tied right back up again. Sheik is very good at comboing off of her down throw, even in this game. Uh, in fact, there's a certain chain of moves that... Oh, and an SD. Cry of everyone playing Smash 4 anywhere, circle pad Y. But uh, Sheik actually has a certain string of attacks that isn't a true chain grab, but that reliably combos back into grab and then down throw, giving Sheik the only chain grab-esque move in the game. At least that's been discovered so far, and that I'm aware of. But it certainly lets uh, Master Fisk here get lots of follow-ups and rack lots of percent, though once uh, Greninja's at kill percent, who almost connects with the bouncing fish, but once Greninja's at kill percent, down throw doesn't set up that well anymore, just because it throws people too far. Ninja just down airing repeatedly. Manages to avoid the explosion despite being hit by the. Oh! Uh, the wind box. Hello? Oh! And Tommy's Greninja will SD. 
that gives Emphisk a lot more chance to recover, because that was... Green Ninja was just barely approaching kill percent. The shield appears to make uh, Greninja's water shuriken just completely disappear. Master Fisk. I don't know why he chose not to punish with needles, just get a little extra damage there while Greninja was charging his up smash. But <laughs> Tommy, short hop, fast falling, neutral airs. It's all over the place. I'm not sure how good of an option that is, as I'm not a Greninja player. Um, from what little I have played of him, I wouldn't think it would be that strong, but... I mean, by the fact that he's using it, I assume that it is. Shields the attack out of Shadow Sneak. Managed to get some follow-up on the uh, shield down throw. Oh! Alright, that will not kill either one. Sends them both flying far off the stage, however. Greninja off stage in a very precarious position. Did Master Fisk did not manage to um, capitalize on it, however. Ooh. That is the downside to this stage. While your opponent cannot see the shadow from Shadow Sneak, neither can you. Alright. And with that, the um, taunt cancelled into side B. That will take the match.